Hi everyone, welcome to Monday Morning Manifestation. I'm your coach, Elizabeth Pearson. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Monday morning. Um, I decided to do a, something a little bit different with today's episode. Um, after I grabbed my coffee, I went over to my bookshelf over there, of all my books, and I closed my eyes and I picked one. And I picked this one, which is an amazing one. You can tell from all the markings. Marianne Williamson, um, A Year of Miracles. She's amazing, um, total light worker. Like that means she's just kind of sent to, to guide others, I think. And then I decided that for today, I was just gonna close my eyes and I was gonna randomly open to one of the 365 days. Uh, whatever teaching that was, we were gonna read it and then I'm gonna talk about it. So since I've read all of these, I have a little bit of hopefully insight that I can share on what I did afterwards. So. What I opened today was day 246, and it's about rejection. Oh, don't we all love rejection? Not really. Okay, so she says, uh, the real me cannot be rejected. If someone doesn't see my beauty, it's not because it isn't there. If someone doesn't appreciate my value, it's not because I'm less valued. My value, like everyone's, in, is inestimable, inestimable. <laughs> because my value is established by God. I guess that means that nobody can take away from your value and really at the end this kind of ties back into judgment, right? So you kind of have to judge somebody before you can reject them. And when I read this originally, um, it was great. A lot of these books that have these 365 you know, days of whatever, it's super fun and my mom used to do this all the time, shout out to mom. Um, to just feel it, to put your energy into it and say, what am I supposed to know for today? And that's what I did with this book. I have a Pema Chodron book too, which is a 365 day thing. Mark Nepo has a 365. I'll put links um, in the, the top part, but it's really fun to start your day and just, and hold the books and ask, what am I supposed to know for today? and then randomly open it up and wherever your eye falls first, that's what you're supposed to know. Uh, I feel like that's divine guidance telling us where to go. So, so yada yada, uh, it, it brought us to rejection for today. And what I like to think of when I might feel rejected by somebody or maybe I feel like I'm the person who's doing the rejecting that's hurting somebody is that I know that no matter what I do is going to add value to me as a person. So that means no matter if I get smarter or if I lose weight or I get some big job or, you know, something takes off and I start making a bunch of money, that doesn't change Elizabeth. I'm the same person now that I'll ever be, right? And hopefully personally I'll grow a little, but it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, add or take away from my worth. So you might say, what about a criminal? What about these people in jail? Or what about people who've just made huge mistakes? What if it's somebody who cheated on their spouse or something like that? You know, they, they can't possibly as good be, you know, on the same level as me. Well, yeah, they are actually, because <laughs> we were all cut from the same cloth, right? And at the end of the day, we're just where we really should see each other as one. So I like to practice this too when I'm in my car and I see out in California, there's a lot of landscapers, right? These guys who are just doing backbreaking work and hundred degree weather. And I try to look at them and send them my love and appreciation because they are of the exact same worth that I am, my children are, my husband is, we're, we're all the same value because we were all made by this same God, the same universal energy. So if you think of it in terms like that, nobody can ever reject you. And guess what? If somebody's judging you, it's just because they're judging themselves. So that's called projection. We'll talk about that in another video, but I just wanted to give you guys you know, a short video today that you could watch. I'm almost almost at five minutes. I'll try to cut it off here. But the next time somebody rejects you or you feel like they're rejecting you, that's it's not you, boo. It's them. 
it's them who's rejecting some part of themselves. So hopefully that's a nugget of wisdom that you can carry throughout this week. Hopefully some of you are out there watching this and this was just the message you needed. And that's why I opened to this passage in this book today. So I love you and I will see you next Monday.